All right, so the breakdown of the takedown from ACC Open. Nice. Technically against uh, Nick Wiles. I wanted to stand with him because I was in a bit more of a, um, a wrestling phase, obviously leading into trials and making sure that I'm still got my, my focus on the feet. The initial thing that set up the underhook um, was the Kuichi Gari that I've been using for the longest time. I used it against um, Harry Kimura a couple times. I used it against Schwartz in Melbourne uh, a couple months back. I used it against Nick Wiles. It's one of my preferred techniques. So what I'm doing is tying up with a collar tie and going inside tie on the far side. And then I'll step in and connect my heel to the inside of their Achilles and throw their head down and forward. Not always do you get the biggest reaction, but you do start to get them worried about getting their posture broken down. And then they start to stand bolt upright, which gives you the ability to start to come in for underhooks because it's quite difficult to get underhooks with somebody who's good wrestling posture, tight elbows. They're not allowing a lot of things. You've got to start to get them to open up a little bit. And that's how I do it. So. <laughs> All right, so uh, post that, you get your opponent to change their posture. Nick is actually like my height and quite long, so he's available for underhooks and overhooks and those sorts of things. So what I ended up doing was coming in for the underhook here. And what I've been preferring recently uh, in most of my matches is winning the inside head position, faking for the knee tap and going body lock. As soon as I get into the body lock, I either get them to go backwards, I either dive my hips in forwards this way, or if they turn the corner and I shut their wizard out, Step Kosoto Gake and then put them up into the ceiling. And it depends on how they react, whether I put them in four point or whether I take them over their head. Um, Nick reacted by keeping his posture, so I put him on his head. Um, but yeah, it's a good little series and I recommend you try it. Can we, uh, how much did he weigh roughly? Uh, 100? Yeah. 90, 95 to 100? Because the fucking dorks in the comments were like, well, you threw a guy who's unexperienced and didn't weigh as much as you. Uh, first of all, he's a brown belt. Yeah. And second of all, he's almost 100 kilos, which, you know, still, there's a big difference, but that's fine. Yeah. And third of all, shut the fuck up. There we go. Seals that up.
you've told me far too late. And the, just the, well, I've already, I've already prepared my mindset to leave. Okay, you don't well, have lunch. Yeah, the 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 sign of a home. sign of a good athlete is someone who can change their mindset. Yeah, but I don't time. have to. You do. I'm telling you. I, to. No, you don't run the show. Yes, I, I run do. The show. I do run the show. No, you don't. I if you had nothing everything. to film, where would the show be? That's not the point. Yes, it is. You know I'm right. <laughs> where would the show be if you had nothing to film? Well, I mean, it wouldn't be anywhere. It would be the David show. It would be the David show. Dave. Yeah, heaps of subscribers would tune into that one. We're going into business. What do you got, Dave? Check here. There come. we go. Horse cum. It's a Romanian delicacy. What's the next thing we got doing? We're Google doing it. Now? We're not doing George Hammond promotions anymore. Isaac Michelle is actually yeah, we are doing George Hammond promotions because he did pay me in fact. Oh, he did pay you. Yeah, he did. Good Isaac's boy. gonna be here um, for a seminar on the 26th of August. So That's if you guys cool. are interested in Isaac Michelle, he will be here on the 26th of August. Uh, it's not just Sydney West martial art members, is it? Open to everybody? Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll plug that for him. Um, and that's it. Alright, go and have lunch. Mm -hmm.